A primary school lies abandoned in Bongolo, a remote area in South Sudan's Mundri area, located in the southwest of the country. Almost three years ago, insecurity led to teachers and students fleeing the school. Our school is, I've got no items and no everything in school. So our children are sitting at home because there is no teaching for them. Continued rumblings of conflict in the country have led to rampant military activity in many areas, including the environs of several schools, leaving students unable to return to these remote schools for up to five years. A cessation of hostilities agreement signed at the end of 2017 prohibits the occupation of schools and requires parties to withdraw from schools that they have occupied. Now, local authorities in the area promise that schools like this one will soon be reopened. By February they go back to school. This is a very good school behind me here. There's eight classrooms and desks. Uh, the children have not been going to the school for the last three years, which is very, very bad. As I said, uh, myself, I read here. I studied here before I went out. So I want the schools, the children here, to also benefit from here. Constant military operations have seen control of the area change hands between government and opposition forces on several occasions, resulting in communities fleeing their homes due to insecurity. As part of its mandate to protect civilians, the United Nations mission in South Sudan, ANMIS, regularly conducts patrols to assess the security situation in affected areas. Such patrols give a chance for teams to monitor the impact of conflict on communities and allow them to meet with various armed groups while asking for peace agreements to be upheld. The SPLA commander yesterday when we met him, Commander Thomas Tut, he said when we meet with the I.O. we should pass to them the message of peace, that they want peace. Opposition forces in the area have offered an olive branch. Let us give chance for the peace to prevail this time. And it should be durable peace, not just today and tomorrow, another war. No, it's not, a, we don't want to break, but we want a, a sustainable peace to come back to South Sudan. With peace building being a priority, it is hoped that deserted schools and the few that have been occupied by the military will soon welcome the laughter of playful students looking forward to a brighter future.